recording this for the million time. <laughs> Woo! There, no, I'm gonna get there, guys. Oh, this is hard. Why am I struggling? <laughs> Can I get there? Nah. This is hard. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> so hello there. Um, this is the fifth video that I am uploading on this channel and um, I'm nervous. I'm cracking my fingers. Uh, <laughs> I've been recording this a lot. But yeah, so I just wanted to celebrate the fifth episode on this channel um, by doing something special which is not something that I do often which is talking in front of my camera because I find that a little nerve-wracking um, but yeah so insecurities perspective and glazed donuts you know I never thought I would be able to do this channel uh, I never thought <laughs> I never thought I would be sharing such raw emotion and then talk about cooking. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do that forever, um, but right now it's, it's my process and uh, it truly helps me and I hope it inspires you. Um, I hope that through my vulnerability, you're able to either see yourself in it or, you know, find the courage of going after your dream because if I'm able to do what I'm doing right now, you're able to go after your dreams and get it done, you know. It's only a change of perspective. Instead of saying, I cannot do this because I'm insecure or I have these shortcomings or stuff like that, you change your perspective. You're like, it's gonna be challenging, but I can totally do it because this chick is able to do it. So if this chick's able to do that right now, you can totally do your thing. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. So if you've listened to this intro until the end, go in the comment section, leave me a little unicorn and uh, you know, write me a little comment saying, my insecurities are only challenges <laughs> that I can overcome. And uh, yeah, so let me know if you like this kind of format where I'm just like talking in front of the camera. That's totally fine too. I like to get better at this. Um, obviously, I've been rambling. I've been rambling for like at least half an hour. There's going to be so much footage to edit. Oh my goodness. So if you like this kind of format, please let me know. And on this, I'm going to wish you guys to have a wonderful day. I really hope you get to try my donut recipe. And I hope you like this little blurred into my life and uh, yeah, I hope it inspired you. So now let's, let's do the recipe. You ready? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's hope this is good. First, let's make a pre-ferment like we did on the focaccia. If you're curious about that recipe too, I'll link it up in the description down below. Take some cold milk, here I'm using whole milk, but feel free to switch it up for any dairy alternative. Add some boiling water to the mix, always get that perfect lukewarm temperature for the yeast, but before adding it, we're gonna dissolve some sugar in the liquid. Now add the yeast, the flour, whisk it up until smooth, and wipe this out of the bowl before covering it and letting it rest for an hour. Now let's gather the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna need two large eggs, flour, salt, and plain yogurt. Start by whisking the ferment with the eggs and yogurt until smooth, then add the flour and switch up to a spatula to mix it because it's just going to be that much easier. It doesn't need to be perfect, but at least just make sure that the flour is well hydrated and it's as smooth as you can get it without breaking your head too much. Cover it up and let it rest for another hour. Oh, and no worries, that's the last fermentation we'll be doing. About 10 to 15 minutes before the last rise finishes, start warming up the oil on medium heat. Here I'm using some sunflower oil because I like the taste and I find it easy to deep fry in. Okay, so once that's done, give your dough a little pickup in full before dropping it on a very well floured surface. The first time you'll roll the dough is going to be a little tricky because the hydration content is quite high, so don't hesitate to add a generous amount of flour over and over on top of the dough and once again on your counter. 
using a cookie cutter, starts creating your first donuts. You'll obviously notice, but as you're gonna go through the dough, you won't need to add as much flour, so don't overdo it when it's the second and third time you're rolling it out. Now be careful dropping your donut in the oil and deep fry them on both sides until they have that nice light brown color. Allow them to cool before decorating. Now let's talk sugar glaze. My imagination wanted to go in all direction possible, but since this is a first donut recipe, let's go for the classics. Strawberries and rainbow sparkle made with real strawberry sauce, aka the Omer donut, following with maple, which is honestly one of my fave, and then chocolate. Obviously, you'll find all the measurements for each glaze in the description box below, and it's a step that can be done a day or two in advance if you feel like it. The unused glaze will last for about a week in your fridge. Now, this is a recipe worth sharing with your friends, but if you can, the cooked and unglazed donut will freeze perfectly, so the next time you have a craving, just pop one in the oven and voila! Bon appétit! This culinary insecurity of mine has been conquered, and I truly hope you give these bad boys a try. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'm going to catch you in my next one. Bye!